there, it's Amanda and welcome. For this video, we are going to be doing the Still a Booktube newbie tag. This tag was created by the absolutely wonderful Rachel Marie. She is absolutely incredible. She is one of my favorite booktubers and such an incredible human being in general. She has incredible content and she's so supportive of other booktubers, especially smaller booktubers like myself or anybody who still considers themselves a newbie, which is why she made this tag. Definitely go check out her original video because she tags so many people in that video, so many people who consider themselves newbies. So definitely go check it out and check out her channel because she's amazing and subscribe if you haven't already. So question number one is why do you still consider yourself a newbie? I consider myself a newbie because I've been on booktube for about like a month and a half-ish about. So I am still very fresh and new. At this time they have like 56 sub subscribers and I'm so grateful for every single one of them. Thank you so much for subscribing to me if you did. It's been so much fun. I've loved having wonderful conversations with people on booktube. I've loved making videos. I am so grateful and so happy that I started doing this and that anybody subscribes and watches my videos. I'm so also still getting used to the whole thing and like the flow of it. So that's why I consider myself a newbie still for sure. Okay, I know you can't tell, but I went away there for like 15 minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where were we? Question number two. Who were your greatest inspirations for joining BookTube? For this question, I'm gonna go with Peter from Peter Likes Books and Naya from Naya Reads and Smiles. I remember watching their channels and just not only really wanting to be a part of it, but feeling like I could. There are so many booktubers that I watch that, not that they make me feel like I couldn't be a part of it, but watching specifically Peter talk about what a leap it was for him to join booktube and how much he loves it so much. And he's just constantly encouraging people to just do it. You know, he says in his videos all the time, if you want to start a channel, just do it. So I, I just did it. <laughs> but I, I absolutely love watching the both of them in Naya too. Maybe it's because she's always smiling, but I felt like I could, you know, I felt like I could do it. I felt encouraged watching their videos. Among others, of course. <laughs> Question number three is what surprises you most about joining booktube? I have to say the support. I feel like this is gonna be a common answer, but 100% the support. Everybody says that booktube is the most supportive community on YouTube. I've heard it all the time. Peter talks about it all the time. One of the reasons I thought maybe I could do it. But you don't know until you know. You know, you don't know until you're there. People are so supportive. They are so encouraging and kind and always willing to have an amazing discussion with you. It's just so much fun and I am so grateful for the support and it still surprises me every time I post a video. It surprises me that people watch it and like it and comment and I'm able to talk to them. Definitely didn't expect it to the level that it happens for sure. Question number four is what lessons have you learned since joining booktube? Definitely I have learned to kind of just do my thing because when I first started booktube I was like everything has to be perfect. I need to post this this and this at these times I have to post these types of videos but then I started and I realized that you should really just kind of do your thing one I can't post some of the videos that I want to post and I can't do that I just don't have the means to do them at this moment in time but also I learned to not feel so much pressure when it comes to making videos and when it comes to posting I learned to kind of take a step back and realize that this is something that's really fun and incredible and I'm so grateful to have the opportunity and something that I love doing and I don't ever want to get to a point where I don't enjoy doing it anymore because it becomes something that's so stressful to me so I've learned to kind of go with the flow with it and just do my thing and just upload the videos that I want to upload in and make the things that I want to make because there are people that are so supportive again but also it's not a place to be super stressed about making content and about making things that people are gonna watch and all of that it's just a place to do your thing and talk about books and talk about things that you're passionate about within books and stories and the like so I feel like that might be some things that I've learned <laughs> question number five is what fears do you still have about your channel with all of that really wonderful stuff just being said um, about things that I've learned I'm also still afraid of course I'm afraid that people aren't gonna be interested in the things that I want to put out or in the things that I do put out I'm afraid that people are gonna find me boring or weird because yeah <laughs> or just won't enjoy watching me which I, I totally get but like that that's something that I'm afraid of you know and I'm also kind of afraid that at one point I will just plateau in every way when it comes to filming or creativity or anything I'll just kind of get to a place and not be able to do anything different you know I'm afraid of not 
giving people kind of what they want and I'm also afraid of because I feel this need to give people what they want of not enjoying it. That's something that I'm scared of too. I'm just afraid that people will just become disinterested because I'm kind of playing and just doing a thing, you know? Also, I know that, th again, there are so many supportive people in this community and I should still just do my thing and go with the flow and kind of make what I want to make and stuff. But it's, it's still, of course, terrifying because you're putting you, you're putting yourself, your personality and your interests on the internet. And the internet is a scary place, <laughs> to say the least. So that's just some of the stuff that I'm afraid of. Like, of course, there are little things here and there and stuff that I'm maybe too afraid to say that I'm afraid of, but that's just some of it. And hopefully I can, again, just do my thing, go with the flow and have fun. Question number six is what kind of content would you like to create, but you don't? Whoa, there's a lot for this. I have a lot of hobbies and I would like to make booktube videos related to those hobbies. So for example, videos related to cooking and crafts and exercising. Oh gosh, I have so many interesting ideas. Even some video games. Like I have some stuff that I really want to do that I'm nervous about doing, but really want to. I would also like to do, I don't know if this is, this isn't really related to videos, but I would like to start doing buddy reads and like read alongs. They sound like so much fun. Oh, and Julie from Pages and Pens, she's done like the traveling book club. That's something that I really want to do. Those are things I really want to participate in. So I'm really excited for that and hoping I can find my way in there. I have to learn a little bit more and think about how these things work first. But once I do, I'm in and I want to do it so bad. You know, on top of that, I would like to do eventually maybe like book hauls and bookshelf tours. I actually just cleaned all that up, but it's still kind of a mess. I just have stacks of books over there. You know, I have the one bookshelf, but and I have a lot of trinkets and stuff. So that might be fun. I would also like to do more vlog type videos. I feel like vlogs are really fun. So I would like to do more of those. I don't know about like weekly or something that might be a thing. And a lot of people have been doing like book diaries. That's something I'm really interested in. So I would like to do that type of stuff in the future and hopefully sooner rather than later. Question number seven is who have been some of your biggest supporters? Oh my goodness, this is a hard question. There have been so many wonderful people. Everybody who watches my videos or comments on them or likes them or subscribes, like thank you so much. That to me is like so amazing and incredible and I'm so excited. And thank you so much for supporting me. I feel like there are so many people that you know even by just like commenting like you're supporting and I'm so grateful for that. I guess I could, I'll think about some people who were some of the first to comment on my new to booktube tag and have been following me and we've been talking and stuff and watching each other's videos so I guess I will name some of those. So I'm gonna say the wonderful Allie from the bookish hamster. She just hit 250 subscribers. She's really amazing. I absolutely love watching her videos and I love being able to talk to her and have like discussions with her. She was one of the first people to comment on my videos and she is so amazing. I absolutely love watching her channel and I'm really grateful for her supporting my channel. I'm also gonna say Heather the happy booktuber. Oh my goodness, Heather is so much fun to watch. One of the first people again to comment on my video and I've been commenting and watching each other's videos ever since. And I'm also gonna say Rachel herself who created this. She again was also one of the first people to comment on my videos and back and forth. It's absolutely amazing and so supportive of people in this community. It's really incredible and we've been watching and commenting back and forth on each other's videos and I'm very grateful for all three of these people, Allie, Heather, and Rachel for helping me feel comfortable coming into this community and watching and supporting my videos and I love watching and supporting their videos too as well. I just said two and as well. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I was getting more comfortable in front of the camera. Sometimes I slip <laughs> but I'm so grateful for all of them. They've been so supportive. Definitely go check them out. Among other people of course. I feel like I, I just can't name them all and I just like get stuck. I'm sorry. And number eight is to tag some of your favorite people and that is so hard because she tagged so many people. She went on Twitter and asked people to say if they still felt like a newbie and she tagged them all below. So it's hard because I feel like there are people in there that I might tag that are already tagged but I, I was looking and I think there's some people that I didn't maybe didn't see I feel like I don't know if I really want to tag people because I don't know if they still consider themselves booktube newbies I guess I will tag a few people that I'm just thinking off right off the bat I don't think of Allie as a newbie but sh Allie if you think of yourself as a newbie you're definitely tagged I know Heather from the happy booktuber she started her channel I think around the same time as mine maybe a little bit before so I'm gonna tag her I'm also gonna tag Kayla from passion fruit and books. She might consider herself a newbie. If you're watching this and you consider yourself a newbie in any way, even if you've been here for a while, please do the tag. Again, it was created by Rachel Marie. All these people will be linked down below. Thank you so very much for watching and sorry if I got a little bit rambly, which I feel like I say at the end of every video. Please comment down below. Let me know any of your thoughts. I have social media down below, of course, and like and subscribe if you feel and I will see you very soon. Bye!